everyone, so today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial, obviously on the look I'm wearing right now. It's just this very sort of bright, spring-like pink eye um, with some pop of silver, whitey stuff in the middle and a bright blue liner and a bright pink lip. Um, it's very out of my comfort zone, um, something very different for me, so yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, and yeah, if you want to see how I did the makeup I'm wearing right now, then please carry on watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me, which why would you not? Okay, so as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows, my primer and my um, one eye so you can kind of see the look I'm going for, which is, as you can see, it's just a sort of bright pink and blue thing, I guess. And um, yeah, we're just going to get started. I'm really sorry if the focus goes really weird in this video. I think my camera is doing some very dodgy things today, so... Okay, so the first colour I'm going to take is from the Sleek Ultra Mattes palette and it's this shade right here which is, I'm not sure of the name of it because I really just don't know, if I'm honest. And I'm just going to put that like all over the crease of my eye. And then just to deepen it up a little bit more, I'm going to take the Colourpop eyeshadow in the shade Wattles and I'm just going to again put that in the same place as I put that other one from Sleek. It doesn't matter if this is really messy this part because we are going to be cutting out the crease a bit later so this can be as messy as you want it to. And then just for some added depth I'm going to mix this pink eyeshadow here with this purple one here just for a bit more depth in the crease. Just blend it really really smoky so it's kind of like very very blown out and big. It's kind of the look we're going for with this. Okay, and now I'm going to grab a concealer and I'm going to cut, cut the crease out. The focus is really getting to me in this. Oh, come on. Sort your life out. Okay, so I'm just going to put a bit of my 17 Stay Time Concealer on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use a really tiny concealer brush to do this with. Okay, so that is what it looks like now that we have carved out that crease. And then I'm actually going to do something slightly different. So I'm going to take the Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Rose Matter, which is just this kind of bright pink colour. And I'm again going to just put a blob of that on the back of my hand. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to kind of use it as a cream eyeshadow in a way. So I'm going to get some on a flat brush of mine. And then I'm going to just pat that all over that already concealed base that we've got. But just bringing it into about the inner third, I guess. And on top of that, I'm going to take those two pink shades that we mixed earlier and I'm just going to pack that all over. Kind of just on top of that colour. Try and keep this more central to the lid because we're going to put like some purple. And then for the purple I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution um, Eyes Like Angels palette and I'm going to take um, just a mixture of some of the purples in this palette. They're all very very pigmented and lovely. Why are you not focusing? Um, so I'm going to take some of this one here and some of this one here and just kind of mix them all together to create a nice um, purple colour really, I guess. And then I'm just going to pop that just in that outer corner there. And then just kind of blend those two. Blend the pink and the purple into each other. And then for that inner corner, I'm going to take this bright white shimmery colour here in the same Eyes Like Angels palette as before. I love this colour. It's so gorgeous and so pigmented and so glittery and just, I love it. And I'm just going to pack that onto that inner corner. 
and just feather it into the pink, like so. And then I'm just going to bring that into my inner corner as well. Slightly. Then, as you can probably guess for liner, I'm going to be taking the NYX Vivid Brights liner in the shade Vivid Sapphire again. I do realise I used this eyeliner in my last tutorial as well, but I absolutely love it. It's just the perfect blue eyeliner. I'm going to get really close for this as well because I stress so much with winged eyeliner. Okay, I changed the lighting for this bit just because I think it's a little bit more realistic. Um, I'm not really sure though, it's all a bit dodgy because I'm filming quite late at night so... I don't know. So I'm first going to prime my skin using the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Illuminator because we want our skin to be really really dewy and fresh given that it is spring and all. So I'm just going to pop that on kind of the high points of my face really, concentrating that on my cheekbones, forehead, nose and my chin. And then I'm just going to blend that in with a sponge. Going to be using a bit of a lighter coverage um, foundation. I'm going to be using the Garnier BB cream just because for spring we kind of want a bit of a lighter foundation. It's all just spilling out of the tube right now and I don't know why you're doing that. Stop because I've got way too much on my hand right now. <sighs> and again just as I always do I'm just going to dot that all over my face. This BB cream, I think it's a little bit dark for me. But okay, I'm going to keep the excess just because I think I'm going to blend that down my neck. My hand is a mess and I'm really sorry about that. I use too much of this foundation again. Why do I always use too much foundation? Yeah, the colour match is a bit off. I think I was a bit dark when I actually bought this foundation, so like I said before, I'm just going to blend that down my neck as well, just to achieve a bit more of an even blend. I to go for dinner at some point. Okay, so now we've done the foundation, I'm going to try and put a bit more warmth back into my face, because not going to lie, I do look like Casper the Friendly Ghost right now, um, as my family kept telling me when I was downstairs having dinner just now. So I'm going to use, as always, the Sleep Contour Kit to do this in the shade Light and just lightly contour my cheekbones. Ooh, that was a lot. Whoops. And then I'm gonna go around my forehead a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to get a bit of that on there and just kind of like dust that all over my face, pretty much. just a bit down on my neck <sighs> and that is bronzer done for a bit more of a bronze of a sort of bronzy type glow though I'm going to go in with the Revlon highlighting palette in the shade bronze glow and I'm just gonna swirl mostly the bottom colors together because this will give me a nice sort of pinky toned bronze rather than a sort of orange toned one if that makes sense and this is also super super shimmery and really pretty So this is just going to add some more dew back into our skin because obviously we want that really dewy complexion but obviously the foundation we used was matte so we kind of want a bit more of a glow back and that is how I'm going to get that. Blusher, I'm going to kind of try and take the top few colours on this palette. I left my blush a brush right there. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna take the top few colors of this palette and I'm just going to add that onto my cheekbones, really, as a sort of pretty blush. So 
for highlighter I'm going to be so so extra and I'm going to take that colour we used here, this really shimmery white colour um, that we used on the um, inner corner of our eyelids and I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my brush and just blend that onto the tops of my cheekbones. Onto my nose. Look at that highlight, yes! And then just on my Cupid's bow as well. I want to really highlight a Cupid's bow for this. Okay, I actually think that is the face done. I actually really like this. It's kind of very dewy and very fresh and very pretty. I'm very into it. So for lips, as you can probably guess, I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Rose Matter Lip um, Liquid Lipstick, the same liquid lipstick we put on our eyelids, just to tie it all together. You could also use a nude if you weren't really into this bright sort of pink lipstick, but I might also do, I keep doing those internal hookup things. I might also do a tutorial showing you how to wear this a little bit more wearably with like a bit of a toned down eye perhaps. Um, so if you wanna see that, let me know. But firstly, I'm gonna just uh, line my lips with the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner. I kind of wish MAC did this as a lipstick actually, just because I think it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's possibly my favourite nude lip liner that I have just because it's so creamy and so like nice to put on, it's so kind of wearable as well and it's a, it's a nude that kind of suits most people too. So now I'm going to be taking Rose Matter and just popping that over the top of that. This is quite a bright pink so it's kind of quite out of my comfort zone certainly, I don't tend to wear this much. Um, super pretty colour. I honestly think the lip just brings this whole look together, like it just, I don't know, it just brings the eyes and the eyeliner and the face just all together and it's so pretty, like I just, I really like this look and I wish I could wear it more, like I wish it wasn't so out of my comfort zone but genuinely I would never wear a look like this out anywhere. Um, it's very, very different for me. I'm very kind of into my dark, smoky eyes and sort of like nude lips and dark pinks and stuff. So this is so out of my comfort zone, but I really, really like it. So this is the finished look. As I was saying, it's quite out of my comfort zone, something very different for me, um, something that maybe you haven't really seen um, on my channel before. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to try and do some more interesting tutorials than the ones I have been doing recently. Um, so yeah, if you have any requests of things you'd like to see from me again in the future, please um, comment down below. Also give me a like so that you know, so that I know that you like this sort of video um, and if you like when I use colour. Um, and yeah, um, don't really have anything else to say so I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye! Outro time, outro time, outro time, outro time, outro time! So for lips, as you can pros- pro- oh.